Hello everyone, this is an episode review for Season 3, Episode 18, otherwise known as Crack the Whip, and we finally get the start of the Amethyst arc, which was slightly teased and hinted at an entire year ago, pretty much. Um, I even did a theory about this, this was my very first theory I did on this channel, and it was um, about these certain episodes, or these certain episode titles that got leaked, um, and I was talking about if Amethyst was gonna betray the Crystal Gems or go rogue and do her own things. Uh, so far it doesn't look like she's gonna be doing that, it's just gonna be her own little story arc that we're gonna be having. I don't know how long it lasts, I'm gonna say up to three episodes, probably the rest of the week. So starting from Crack the Whip and up to, I have no idea what Friday's episode is, but past Bismuth most likely. But anyway, the episode... Uh, I really liked it. It's everything that I look for in an episode. It's an Amethyst episode. She's my favorite crystal gem. Once again, the episode was great. We got everything that everyone's been asking for. We get Amethyst and Jasper interaction. People want to know about that. We get a good fight. It wasn't... I mean, it wouldn't say it was the best fight, but it was a pretty good fight. It took up a good chunk of the episode. We finally get Stevani again. She's here as well. We get Stevani with a sword and shield. And we even get her writing line. We got everything we finally wanted. I thought we were going to get that like at the finale, but nope, they brought it towards us a lot closer than expected. And I love every bit of it. The only complaint that I have to say is that, and this is pretty much a nitpick for myself. This is just my personal opinion. Nothing like too factually wrong with the episode is that I think Stevani beat Jasper just way too easy. For what she's known for. Jasper is like destroying Amethyst. Amethyst can't even land a single hit on her properly. Then you have the fight with Garnet and Jasper. They're both giving it their all and they're both struggling against each other. And Jasper loses by the end of it, just barely. And then you have Stevani who just comes out of nowhere who just pretty much punk stomps Jasper with no real effort. I know Jasper wasn't also really trying. It, I know she wasn't even trying at all so much and wasn't expecting the fusion, but like of all the things that we've seen Jasper do, she just gets beaten by Stevani just so easily. Either two things should have happened. Either the fight, like Stevani should have struggled a bit more because it didn't look like she was struggling at all too much, or two, the fight should have been just a little bit longer. I know they can only do so much within 11 minutes, but... My personal opinion, I think they could have gone out. Like, the scene where they're just running around on the boardwalk, messing with the seagulls, they honestly could have cut that out to make the fight just a little bit longer. Because what does that scene serve? Like, nothing. They're just kind of goofing around. I know that's the point of the first part of the episode, but like that, that doesn't do anything too much. <laughs> so, yeah, that's just my personal opinion on how that should have worked out. Other, uh, either that, the episode is really great, and I'm really looking forward to today's episode, uh, Stephen vs. Amethyst, and that ending with Crack the Whip, that was heartbreaking. And I know some people are talking about, um, what Amethyst, um, like when she was reforming, some people saying that, oh, she's corrupted, most likely. Uh, if that's possible, I'll make a theory about that, if someone already doesn't make it already, but I don't think she's corrupted just yet. I think that was just to show off, like, one of her other forms. It was her previous form, the one with, like, the big leg and big arm. That's what it was. But, yeah, I I'll see more into that. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, I'll try to answer them the best I can. If you want to draw any fan art for the channel, it would be greatly appreciated. Till then, bye.